Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. Episode, there is no number to this episode because this is a very special episode. You know, I got a very special guest, somebody who's been asking to be on the podcast, who has no idea what the podcast was before he even got here. But, you know, he's still here and it's because of the day. Happy Father's Day. I got my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, I, I'm supposed to be his dad. I think I'm his <laughs> dad. And um, I, I'm just the first time I've been in this room for this long. So let's, <laughs> all right, let's, let's knock it out the box. Let's, <laughs> just, um, let's keep it moving for the for the future. Are you excited? I, 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 don't, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is, this see, I told y'all people I was black. Y'all didn't believe me. Y'all oh, said y'all didn't think I was black. See, look, he is my dad. He, I don't know if y'all yeah, see the resemblance yeah. though. Yes, I he, he I do look like him, and he looks like his mom. <laughs> and stuff. So um, I, I'm definitely going to claim this guy. I ain't got no choice. That <laughs> stuff, but. but you know, like, comment, subscribe. This is only a YouTube special, so this is not going to be on the uh, Spotify or Apple Podcast. So Why for not? all my YouTube people, what do you mean? Why not? What do you mean? It's only video. There's only video? Yeah. We're not going to be on nah, it's not gonna Spotify be a, or what you call that? No, nah, it's not going to be on Spotify. Are we going to be on MySpace or anything like that? No, nah, there's no my, MySpace. <laughs> oh, my bad. Did you have a MySpace? Nah, nah, I had no MySpace. I remember when I was working with the kids, they just said MySpace, uh, you know, I don't know. When did MySpace come out? Like 2000 what? It was like before 2000. Dang. Yeah, yeah, before 2000. That's before they had them big cell phones, like look like big batteries. Yeah. And stuff. And you just, I forgot about yeah, those. Like the thing was like this big on your face and stuff like that. And, you know, you couldn't see the numbers. And see, like I'm that. glad. See, look, you made it to the future, bro. You're taking. I, you know what? It's, it's, um, it's, um, it's challenging because I don't know what you young people, I mean, you know, I, I try to stay <laughs> connected, you know. Old, you know, old enough to know, still young enough to enjoy. It, so. Don't worry, it's getting worse and worse by the day. No, no, I think I think it's getting great. I just think you got to be able to use it in the right way. Yeah, That's tough. but since it's Father's Day, because when this podcast comes out, it will be Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, man! Oh, well, thank you. Um, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, all the fathers who may not know their fathers and stuff like that. <laughs> happy Father's Day to them too. Also, Happy Father's Day if you get a check or you know in the mail. <laughs> you get a check to- in the mail. Well, you got to, you know, not a check in the mail, but you got to send that check out. For what? You know, what do you mean for, for what, what? child support? Yeah, support. Oh. <laughs> I, I call it support the child. You not know? child support. Not child support. Because sometimes they don't want to get the child. <laughs> so you got to support the child, you won't get arrested, dude. He ain't lying. <laughs> all my fathers out there, shout out to y'all, man. Y'all doing a yes, great job. Yes. All the good fathers out there, all the great fathers, or even the ones that struggling and stuff to be a father. You know, you know, it's it's a big thing, you know, to be a father. And you gotta learn how to be a dad. Most important thing. I'm glad you said that because I have some questions to ask you for Father's Day. For Father's, you gonna ask me some questions for Father's Day? Okay. Yeah. So, the first question I have for you: What is something that I do that you hate the most? What is something that you do that I hate the? Well, I don't. I hate is a strong word. That you dislike the most? Because I could I could name a couple. Right now. <laughs> When you go into the bathroom <laughs> and you take like I don't know how many showers you take a day, and you ain't do nothing, and then you leave the curtains open, you got water all over the floors. I mean, it's just like I mean, you you think you're in college dormitory or something like that, man. This, that that bothers me a lot, man. Now let man. me now let me defend Thank myself. You. I take two showers a day because I be sweating. Welcome to Earth. So what, I can't just sit in my sweat. Okay, what do you? Okay, I understand that. But even all right, you, you go in the bathroom, you just the same way, you, like my dad said, your grandfather, the way you leave, the way you go into something, you make sure you leave. It's the same way you went into it. That is what I do. Got to work on though. Ex- exactly. So you you go in the bathroom, you see everything is clean, everything. Then all of a sudden you go in there, you come back out, and it's like uh, a whale came out the darn thing, water <laughs> all over the place. Bad. I'm trying to figure out how the water get from the tub. To the toilet, but I didn't want to know what you had done. <laughs> and then, and then your hair brush all over the place. You got all this in the curtain. I'm like, okay, now I got a follow up question. What is sure. what is something that I did when I was younger that you that you didn't like? That you, that you did was younger. That just got on your nerves. Like, oh, this I want to kick this little kid. <laughs> well, how far are we talking? When you was young, we'll talk. We'll say like. Well, you 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 never used to go to bed. I mean, like, we thought you was in the room and the, the lights be out, and all of a sudden you be. 
<laughs> like, babe, what was that? Because, you know, we was in the house. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm from the city, you know, so I, it took me a while to get adjusted out here. So it, it was dark. You know, when we turned the lights out, it was really dark. Normally in Jersey, Jersey City, you see the lights from the, you know, from the street coming in the window, but it got dark out here. So we think you was in the bedroom. He's like, all right, bye. And then all of a sudden, you running past the doorway, and I think it's like little Chucky or something like that. Like, what the heck is going on? And that would drove me up the wall. I was like, babe, you see that? I said, that's just Darius. Just don't keep. I said, well, he's supposed to be asleep. Go get him. I said, you sure as hell? And then I would come out here and see that you be in the bed. I'm like, yeah, I don't think you sleep. I go back in the room, and next minute I saw, I lay down two minutes later, like right past my door. <laughs> yeah, that that that, that kind of that, that ain't ball. Let's get the crap out of it. <laughs> Remember when I used to tickle your feet? Yeah, that's another thing, man. Cause <laughs> uh, you know when you have a long day of work and you just come at the end of it, I like nobody touching my feet. Number one, let alone you at the end of the bed tickling my darn feet, and I look up and I can't see you. <laughs> so that yeah, that that guy on my nerves a lot. I, of stuff. When that, we used to live a, in Jersey City, I used to sneak oh, in his room Lord, and like crawl because we used to have high beds. Yeah. So I used to sneak high. around and tickle his feet and, and scare him every yeah, day. That that was um. Man, that see, that's when we had, you know, like your mom said, we had to get a bigger bed because my feet used to hang off the bed and stuff. I don't know what, you know, being tall. Yeah, tell the people how tall you are because people don't believe me. How well, t- listen, I listen, I stopped counting since I was in high school. Your mom think I'm 6'6". Six, six. I think I'm about between 6'5 six, and 6'6". 6'5 six, six. Six, and 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, 6'5 six, and 6'6". Six, six. But that's that's tall. But your friends? <laughs> Tyrone? <laughs> I know, they be thinking Tyrone like six foot. No, he got to be seven feet. That dude looked like he's like going up. I should like when he came the other day. I shook his hand. I said, "Hey, what's up?" I said, "What? Damn!" I know. I feel like he gets like taller. he's like taller and wider. That's yeah. the thing. He getting taller and wider. And the funny part is, his dad is almost the same height as me. So he's taller. He got to be taller. Yeah, he's way taller than his dad. And I think he's way like he's. I don't want to say he's fat. He's just wider, like a bigger body. Like, I'm like starting. Yeah, like yeah. really bigger body and stuff. So I'm he be like, he be running a lot. I don't know if you probably see him. Uh, more. He runs from he his house. Not be running. His mom's crib all the way to all the way here and back. What for? I don't know. He wants to stay in shape. He be playing in like the summer leagues and stuff. So he was in one. Oh, he does play summer leagues? Yeah, so he be playing in the summer leagues all the time. Man. I be trying to tell him to retire, bro. He, he going to be I hurt. Mean, he's still, he, I mean, he's, he's still, I mean, what, how old is he? What, 20? 20, 20, I think he just turned 24. 24? I think he just turned 24. I think two, or two more years before. Two more started, years? Yeah, before it start kicking in. Them knees start kicking in. What age is that when you start feeling it? Uh, the round. 20 right around 27 okay you start getting them little little pains that you never had before like where like any like everywhere it starts in your ankles ankles yeah it starts in your ankles like some this this crazy pain in your ankles because people say it's your <laughs> knees it started like me it started my ankles and then all of a sudden it went from my ankles to like my knee and i always had a bad back yeah so but it, that's why i realized that you know Okay, you know, I, I don't think I, I ain't got a couple more years playing basketball. <laughs> like, competitively and stuff. It's like, you know what? Because, you know, when you when I go out and play, yeah, I can't, you know, I just can't go through the motion. Because you go through the motion, you get hurt. I get what you mean. So you got to, you got to, you, you know, the competitive mode kicks in and, you know, it's different playing on asphalt and, you know, wood. You know, when you're on the asphalt in the streets, you know, a little bit crazy but on the wood. People like to get big miles and stuff, talk all crap and stuff. Like what do you mean by that? This is when we playing the street ball. No, I grew up playing the street ball. When you playing on asphalt, we call the ground and stuff. You know, baby ruckus. You know, you call your own fouls. Yeah. So you know, you call your own fouls, and sometimes some people get slick. Yeah. And want to talk all that talk talk stuff. Yeah. You come down lane, you are gonna get hit. Yeah. And stuff. And, and That's how it is. And then when you get hit, then you got two options: either you check, or you gonna fight. Yeah. So once they want to try to fight and stuff, they can't fight. <laughs> then that's out the window now. Okay. But now you know, and that that's that quiet all the noise. Now you start to compete, and then you go through the thing. So so when people start playing in the gym, yeah. And most of the time, people at the gym, you got everybody around you. You got coaches and stuff like that. So now yeah. they are talking even louder because yeah. now when they you check them and they want to talk now, yeah. Now you want to go after them, they know somebody going to come in between and break it up. Yeah, yeah. It could be an older guy or something like that. But when you're on the street, them older guys are like, yo, boy, you bitch, you better shut up or that boy knock you out. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. You should, man, you, so, you're in the bloodline, too, so your uncle I got a, good for that one. I got a question because I don't know if it's just me or because I started to realize when I get older, like I'm, I see a lot of tendencies in me that you and mom have. So I have to ask this. Oh, what's that? So I have to ask this, right? When I play basketball, I'm really competitive. But I get competitive to a point where I get really mad. 
I know you've seen me get really bad. Yeah. Where do I get that from? Do I get that from you? Like nah, you see me rip nah, a couple jerseys. Nah, that's that you remind me of your uncle Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's your your oldest uncle and stuff. So you know, he he's a he's a different religion now. So um Khalif, see, I think his name is. But yeah, you Wait, he changed that. his name? I think his name is Khalif. Okay. Khalif? Oh dang. Yeah, he's still Reggie and he's my older brother. So. Yeah. But he 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 respectful of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um yeah, I, I, that remind me of yeah, you remind me of him because you get I remember when watching him, he just he just blacks out. <laughs> yeah, but then with Reggie, the one thing about Reggie and stuff is that and we all know you can ask him and he was like, it's when he when he figured when he said, you know, he's gonna say one more do something, he gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. He was just a fighter. Uh-huh. You know, he hit to get hit. So you sit there and say, Oh, big boy, you say, Listen, if you say my name wrong again, I'm gonna punch you in your face. What you gonna do? He gonna punch you in your face. I mean, and he was a big guy, so yeah. You ain't got many people like that out there right now and stuff. Yeah. Like I mean, he that's old school, you know. You gonna, you know, and then the next minute you go get your brother and everybody wanna beat him up. Be like, okay, which one you wanna fight? I'm like, oh my lord. <laughs> Since I was young, boy. I mean, he he um that's why I ain't got many gangs and no gang members and all that stuff, you know. Oh, cause I mean, he didn't reach the message you? Nah, yeah, because they know him. Yeah, I, I told you, remember when I went to St. Anne's camp, somebody told me about Uncle Reggie? Yeah, that was embarrassing. That was crazy, bro. Oh, somebody man. told me Uncle that's Reggie. Totally Oh my god! I was at the same at this camp. I was in eighth grade. I'll never forget. I walked up to a guy. He had an NJC shirt. I'm like, hey, my dad work. My dad goes there. And he's like, who's your dad? Uh, uh, I was like, I'm uh, Darren Watkins. He's like, you a Watkins? He's like, yeah. He said, Reggie. I was like, no, that's my uncle. He said, you know, Reggie pulled the tree out the ground after he punched the referee in the face. I said, what you mean? He said, he said, Uncle Reggie was like, I guess the guy called the foul, and he was like, Mm -hmm. you call that foul one more time, I'll punch you in the face. He called it. He punched him in the face. And then I guess his friends was in the thing. He's about to go jump him. He pulled a tree out of the ground and started swinging. I heard that story when I got right up at Jersey City State College at the time. In JCU right now, Jersey State College. They yeah. told me that story. I didn't believe it. <laughs> I could not believe it. I asked your uncle Derek about it. He said, yeah, it went that way. Because they was like, dang, because I was there. And my man and guy, I know the guy. Yeah. Actually, I saw him yesterday. I think his name is um, Kemp. I think his last name. And Nice guy, and he was rapping. And he said, "Your brother said they if you call that you no know, foul one more time." And that was the summer league. You yeah, know, people outside and everything. Mm-hmm. And everybody said, "You ain't gonna do nothing." And he said to him, and he called some foul. And he said he hit him. Reggie hit him so hard he went into the fence. <laughs> and everybody in the crowd was like throwing bottles <coughs> and, and soda <laughs> bottles and sticks. And he, you know, one of them trees they plant in the ground. Yeah, yeah newly planted you trees. Know what I'm he went over there and snatched it out, and now the game was over. Yeah, yeah, The game yeah. was over. Now, now he's fighting a mob of crowd people, <laughs> and, and he they chased him all the way down to the to the firehouse. And when I say chase, they ain't chase him. They kept on bottles. He kept walking, but nobody didn't get close to him. Oh, know, they was just him. like, yeah, I know what you mean. They were sitting there saying, "You said, well, come close there, you want," and they throw a bottle. They run. <laughs> <laughs> well, come close there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you threw it like um, and then, so he he was smart enough not to chase him because you chase him then you run to the thing. Yeah. So the thing is, he they say he didn't run; he just walked. And they, they Everybody was just following while him. He had a tree in his hand. <laughs> now the thing that got me offset, he went into the fire part, fire station. You know, a fire station connect with the police. Yeah. There was no police around. <laughs> I'm saying, so see, that was back then. I'm like, you mean tell me no fire? What happened to the fire? The fire there was no fire trucks around. <laughs> he just walked in. <laughs> they sat down. I was like, "Yeah, that's 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 that was bad." When I heard that, so I was say, I was so embarrassed. I was like, "I." Right. Yeah, we they they never mess with Uncle Reggie, bro. So yeah, but yeah he was he was a, he was a good. But he he's was, he's uh, a peaceful man now. Yeah, he's very peaceful. That was that was those days back then. That was that was back then. So you know, All right. it's totally different. All right, I got another question to ask you. What was my name going to be if it wasn't Darius? Well, people always like, you know, back, you know, I mean, my head like, well, you have a son. You got to call him a junior. You got to call him junior. You got to call him Dar- junior. And I, I didn't want that. Yeah. Because the reason why I didn't want that, because I always felt that, you know, I want you to have your own identity mm-hmm. and who you are and stuff like that. And I, I, I never had in my mind to call you DJ or Darren Jr. Yeah. So what I was on, a, what I was working on the park with is, is. This guy named was Darius, and I was like, "Oh man, that's a cool name." I was like, "Oh, I there was another guy named Darius." Yeah, it was it was some guy. He, his name was Darius. I didn't know it was big, big, big fat guy. <laughs> 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 he, he used to just eat these chicken sandwiches. Well, he was just man, big guy. But his name was Darius. I said, "Oh, that's kind of cool." I, I didn't know, you know, it wasn't Darius. It was Darius, and yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. And I'm a big 
person until your mama messed it up with your sister with two syllable names. What do you mean? Darius. I'm a two syllable guy. Darius. Darren. Yeah. You know, I don't like call. I don't like one syllable. I like, you know, two yeah. syllables. You know, <laughs> until you know your mom messed it up and say, I want to call Isabel. I said, That's Isabel, that's three. <laughs> no, she gotta be two. And he was, she was like, Nah, I was like, Well, she said, you know, but I, I don't know. I, I think, I don't know what you meant. I just, I I was you, to, you told me pride and joy. I thought you was, kidding. yeah, I was like, Because that I said, so I, Because I knew that I knew that she was going to be a girl, I just knew you'd be a girl, but. When when you was you know you know you know you said I was like man that's the next thing that came to my mind I said oh I can name him Pride and I said if I name Pride then the the next you know person has to be a girl it's got to be Joy so I thought Pride and Joy that Th- came to my mind I'm so glad you and didn't then, do then, that then, then your mom your mom said Almond Joy so I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like he is Almond <laughs> I'm so glad he didn't. But call yeah, me. I was gonna be proud of joy. Yeah, you're proud of joy. My pride and my joy. Yeah, you you do. Your sister's the joy of my life, and you you the pride of my nah, life. I don't I'm know about you. pride, bro. You know what I mean? I think pride been cool. I don't know pride. PR. Pride like watch is yeah pride. Your PR. That's good. You can make a nickname anything. PR pride. <sighs> Yeah, pride and that joy. That sounds so like. Shoot, I mean, I've call, seen. They're mad. They call you almond joy. <laughs> I know. They would have really called me some. <laughs> and then, and you look almond. You know what it is <laughs> though. Almondy. A lot of people they name like they be naming the kids a lot of crazy stuff nowadays though. Yeah, it's a lot worse. Them epidural shots, man. We mean <laughs> what? <I'm doing laughs> they be shooting epidural when you know when mom's going to labor. They shoot the epidural <laughs> in your back, and that stuff is strong. <laughs> so and I always good? sit there and say, do not come in after because the nurse comes in. Say, oh, it's a beautiful day. What you gonna name? And the mom. I'll be all just uh, name um, Hennessy, <laughs> you know, because they, they they have a drink on their mind and a car, you know. Uh, 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 their daddy like Lincoln. <laughs> oh, he drove a Lincoln car to know, something like that, you know. You know, it's crazy. So you gotta let that you gotta let that drug wear off. So what is that like? What's that's that? just, that's like a painkiller or something. Yeah, they say it's, 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 it's beautiful stuff. Most pregnant people, you know, mom say that they put it in the back of your. I remember they put that in your mom. I was like, oh my lord, because I'm afraid of needles. I know you. I this man out. is like six I six, afraid out. of little needles, bro. I said, oh my lord, I ran, I ran out. She said, where you going? I said, well, give me an apple juice. You hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's supposed to make you supposed to numb your whole body up and stuff like that, but. It's in your system, so you know it's you know. But yeah, thank God we men, we don't gotta go. Yes, through that. I'm so happy I'm a boy. <laughs> I'm so happy. All right. Beautiful girls. I got another question. We I can ask you. What, what is the most that? embarrassing thing I ever did that got you so embarrassed? <sighs> What's the most embarrassing thing you ever did? <laughs> I don't know. That's a, that's. A, I don't know. I feel like I, I know one. What's one? It was um when we went to Dominican Republic and I spilled the hot chocolate on your oh, pants. Oh yeah, that's that <laughs> that one stands out. That's the one because I told you, I said, Darius, you better hold the chocolate because you wanted it so bad. And your mom and then it got me mad with your mom because I can wear what I want to wear because she kept telling, oh, "Why are you wearing all that white on and stuff? Why are you wearing the white pants?" And I'm sitting there and I'm I'm with your daughter. I mean, with my daughter, your sister and stuff. And she's sitting here, and then you sitting right on right at me. I'm like, man, please don't. And all of a sudden, it jumped this poor, the entire cup. It was only a little cup. It wasn't like a big cup. On like my this. white shorts. <laughs> dark. It looked like I shit on my damn stuff. <laughs> and I had to wear that the whole time. Yeah, we was, it was like a we day trip. We was out trip. there for like the day trip. Out 12 for, hours. What was it? We out there four, five, or six hours. No, it was a long time. It was time. a long time. Because that was the beginning. I was, I was like, man, and people looking at you. Oh, my God. Yeah, he looked like he pooped himself. I was That's, like, what? That was like... <laughs> <laughs> I was so bad. Some guy was like, yeah. "Not the white shorts." <laughs> nah, they said something. <laughs> I know they said it. They wouldn't say it in English. <laughs> I wish I know what the hell they would say. I was mad. Oh, oh I was so mad. Oh, <laughs> boy, I was mad. <laughs> I was mad. Yeah, but I felt so bad because you know what it was. I gotta explain myself now. Oh, man. So this is what happened. They were doing a tour, so they was doing a presentation. So he passed me the hot chocolate. It's not like a. If y'all know. Uh, if y'all First know, of all, it was a big, it was a big cup. No, it wasn't a big cup. Because we were doing the testing thing. I had the small cup, and you liked it, so you you got a little bit more. No, it was and the, it was no, pretty no, hot. No. And the dead thing was hot. 
<laughs> That's the thing that got me more than anything. <laughs> no, no, no. It was a, it was like them little cups you get at, at uh, McDonald's where you put the ketchup in. That's how big it was. It wasn't that, that big. Uh, man, it was enough. All right? <laughs> it, it, it went on my whole white shorts. And what happened was I was I was listening to the guy speak about how they make a hot chocolate. I was so intrigued it was and interested. First, it was good I never got to try it. I, I tried. <laughs> and he yeah. while, as he passed it over to me, I'm looking. I didn't look. Man. So I grabbed it and I thought I had it in my hand. I let go and it fell all over his pants. And I felt so bad. I thought he was good. So yeah, bad. that was so bad. And then Isabel, you sit on my lap. She's like, I ain't sitting on your damn lap. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I can sit on my chair by myself. <laughs> that was so sit, bad. I ain't sit with daddy. You know, <laughs> he looked like he got something on his pants. That was so bad, bro. That, that, imagine, I came back into the... Because you know when we get back from yeah. the trip to the resort, you know, uh-huh. people there, they like, oh, they will, you know, everybody coming in. I'm coming in with this... <laughs> <laughs> with this dude who stayed on your pants. It was embarrassing. <laughs> hey man, you know, I learned a lot. I learned a lot over the years. I remember I I don't know if you remember this. I talk about this on the pod a lot. About the one time that you got really mad at me and you hit me one time. I never hit you. <laughs> I never hit you. I, I remember one time Wait, what? I, I didn't I didn't hit well, I remember one time I hit you and it hurt my damn hand. <laughs> That's what you're talking about? No, wait, when? Because I remember you you got me mad about something. I went to pop you in your head, and <laughs> the whole two of my fingers started ringing. And I thought you, I thought I broke my head. Because <laughs> they said, when well, you break your head, it feels like a numbness. And so I was like, babe, I think I broke my head. <laughs> it's dumb, but now, what is you? This is what happened. So it was me and Brandon were at Wawa's house. Yeah. And Libby was on the bed. And Libby was like maybe like one. Very, she wasn't she wasn't that old yet, and I remember me and Brandon were wrestling, and we knocked Libby off the bed, and she started crying, and I I would oh, I would never forget this. You ran into the room, asked no questions. Oh, I remember that. He asked no questions. Yeah, I remember like this, that. And just yeah. looked at me and hit me right in my chest. And Brandon was like, "You about to throw? You about to shoot me at the drum. So I think scared. that's where that's where he realized I don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was scared of you after that. Yeah, he was scared of me after that. After oh, that. I remember that. I remember that. I, yeah. felt, I was like, dang. And it was a th- Libby was sideways. Yeah, she was on the floor. <laughs> I'm like, oh my sideways. god. See, after that, and then I dropped Libby a second time. Well, I mean, in I, your room, and then Libby started crying. I was like, Libby, don't cry, don't cry. And I covered her mouth. <laughs> I was like, you please cover her mouth. Yeah, I was like, don't cry. I was like, don't cry. I felt bad, but hey, man, you know, it happens. I, I mean, I drop you one time. I was trying to rock you to sleep and I went to fall asleep <laughs> and I had my leg like this and you flipped over this way and just went bow your head on the floor went, yeah on the floor <laughs> we was at the apartment and your eyes went like this and I snatched you up and I said oh my god, oh god. <laughs> your mother came and said what happened I said no I'm just playing with <laughs> you like, like, I was like oh dang they got a concussion <laughs> they got a concussion have you ever tried Libby uh Nah, I never dropped Libby, but I dropped you, but you hit that. You, your head went bow. I was like, oh, <laughs> shoot. And then I went, your eyes went, I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. I didn't even get no sleep that night. Why? Because I thought you, I, I remember, I on. thought you had a concussion. <laughs> we had that little baby camera. Yeah. And I'm sitting there looking at it all night, like, making day. <laughs> <laughs> see you, see you, like, see you, go, it's going to come home. She's just, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, I, know, I, I didn't tell your mother until you got older. I said, yeah, I dropped that. I, I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, you, it was, I mean, you fell, you went. Wow. <laughs> like, and that was a, we didn't have carpet, right? No, we had carpet. Oh, we but did. But the thing carpet. is, you 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 flip your head back, <laughs> like, and I was like, I ain't never seen. I was like, oh, god! I, when I, I, the thing is, I snatched you up. And when I snatched you up, so well, you, you like got startled and <laughs> stuff. So, but you never cried. But she then must said, "What happened?" I was like, "Oh no, I'm just playing with me." <laughs> oh, How old was I? Oh man, you like maybe was I a year eighteen yet? months? Yeah, you about over a year. Okay, about okay. Year stuff. Was I? I was a big baby, right? Yeah, yeah, you was a big round baby. <laughs> yeah, heavy little thing. You know, I remember. Oh man, oh another embarrassing moment. You want to talk about? I'm sitting there ready to go to work. I had my white shirt on, everything looking good, and your mom said, "Here, take that." You was like, "Name a year yet?" And I'm playing with you like, "Hey, what's going on?" It's morning time. I had a white shirt. And I looked down. And I saw all this brown stuff <laughs> on my damn shirt. <laughs> I was so bad. <laughs> Ain't no back. I only had white one white shirt. <laughs> I was like, oh, this don't make no damn sense. I pooped on your shirt. Yeah, man, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. It was so bad. <laughs> it, it just, the, oh man. It, your mom was sitting there like, it's going to be all right. Just get another shirt. I, said, I ain't got another shirt. I, can't go to- <laughs> I wouldn't even go to work. I was out so bad. 
I mean, I was, and then I took a shower. I was smelling myself. Uh, I sprayed all my cologne. Like, uh, the mom says, stop spraying that cologne. I was like, I don't know. It smells like shit. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I, gotta, I missed yeah, that Jersey City house. Remember the... um? Oh, man. That was that was. Crazy. Remember when you locked me in the car? I didn't lock you in the car. How many times tell you that this story? did lock I did not lock you in the car. I get was out. talking to somebody, and I did not lock you. I knew you was in the car. I know. I'm glad you didn't tell the other one when I left you on top of the... The, the truck. What do you mean? You left me on top of the truck? I had you in the baby chair. Yeah. And I put you on top of the thing. <laughs> and you forgot I was up there? And I went in the back to get something. And I walked to the door. Toy totally forgot you was there. And I was like, I looked around. You were sitting. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I left him on top of the truck. I left him on top of the truck. I, looked, I, put the, I don't know why I put the chair on top of the thing. And then I went around the back to get something out. And then when I got the back, I closed the door. I said, Jip, Jip, and I went over to the door. We about open the key. Then I said, yeah. Oh damn, I forgot to get Darius. And, and I was like, Oh, he's on top of the damn truck. <laughs> I was like, oh shoot! And I was like, Man, and it was windy that day too, boy. Boy, man. <laughs> windy, 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 See, boy, man, man, I told you, but it, it was, it was, it was, um, it was good. Time. So was I a hard like baby when I was younger? Like, nah, cause you know how people they be really. saying like they, the baby wakes up every two hours in the middle of the night crying. Nah, I mean, no, nah, not not really. You're a pretty good baby and stuff. Okay. You didn't you didn't you didn't wake up much and stuff like that. It's just you got when you start to walk, that's when that's when oh, hell broke loose, man. Wait, why? I think we was down I think it was in the islands time you start to walk and you know, you know when the they had the marble yeah you get slippery and stuff. Oh, I think you did tell me about that, yeah. And you kept falling all the time and you didn't know how to fall right. When you fall, some fall, you place your hands, you fall, you your face hits the floor, <laughs> your back, your head, and it was marble. And I was like, oh my god, now this boy won't want. You just kept bow, bow. So I was like, oh my goodness, they and stuff, and you start crying, get, and you start walking again, you slip again, you lay the like, bow. I was like, oh my god, this is not. This is not <laughs> But no, no, it was it was it was pretty cool. Okay, it that's was, good. It was good time. That's good. Yeah. All right, I got one last question. What's that? What was? What was something that I did that was really annoying? We did a lot of things annoying. I mean, mm. is it like remember when I was younger and I didn't like sleep in my own bed till I was like twelve? That was my fault. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> because it was it was because you would not go to sleep. Yeah. So therefore, your mom would not go to sleep, so I could not go to sleep. Uh huh. It's like you would go to sleep and then you would wake back up and doing that chunky crap. <laughs> so I'm like, you, you, your mom said, "Well, maybe he wants to come in the room." I was like, "Well, then bring him in the dining room. <laughs> Let's bring him in the room." And that's when you bring in the room, and the next thing you know, you would you would sit there and watch television. I'm sleep on my on my stomach, and the next thing you know, you sleeping on the back of my damn leg. <laughs> I can't now. I can't get up. And I just keep you there, and all of a sudden, it, it just became. A habit? A habit. Not a habit. It's just it's a regular thing now. So <laughs> your room that we prepared became a storage room while you were sleeping in there. And Lord knows I didn't think it was going to happen again. <laughs> I know. Libby did the same thing. The bro. same. I was so bad. So we literally had y'all two, what, 15 years? Yeah. <laughs> sleeping next year. Do and there was times where I slept in my bed. And I will go get my dad to come sleep next to me, and then he'll fall asleep in here, and I'll leave my room and go to see go. Mom. <laughs> no. Exactly. That yeah, that was crazy because I I was sitting there saying, forget this stuff. So when I know you left, I'm saying I ain't going in there because now you want to sleep. Well, so sleep with your mother. I'm gonna get some sleep tonight, something like that. And and man, oh my god, y'all both cannot sit sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> Kicking and slapping. Yeah, Libby punches when she sleeps. Yeah, she, I, I'm she like, punch. I'm a screamer. I used to scream in my sleep. Oh yeah, I know. What the hell was wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, ah, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yo, I was, yo, I was like, yo, I was like, man. <laughs> and see, the funny part was, oh, there was one night I was watching the Omen. <laughs> yeah, I was watching the Omen and stuff. You know, it was like, you know, and you know, he had a little rock walker walking yeah. and stuff like that. And I'm like, all right, so you fell asleep and we fell asleep and you like, <laughs> no! I'm like, oh, shoot, I'm thinking, is the dog coming down there? <laughs> yo, I'm like, yo, babe. I'm sitting there like, yo, this boy. I'm like, <laughs> your mom said, what are you doing? I'm saying, I'm going to see if he got any numbers in the back of his head. Or <laughs> I said, like, because he's screaming for no damn reason. <laughs> like, hey, your mom said, it's okay. You're having a nightmare. Nobody will have a nightmare to scream <laughs> like that. Just to bother, oh, that used to bother you. Because I used to be afraid to sleep over people's houses because of that. 
You just, uh. I used to not want to sleep over like Brandon's house with all his cousins because I used to be like, if I fall asleep, I'm going to like scream in the middle of the night and scare everybody. I, well, you know, yeah, exactly. It's but I probably get- The funny part was you, and that was another thing. You would say, oh, I'm going to sleep over Brandon's house. And next thing you know, Dad, can you come pick me up? <laughs> like, it's like 12, 31 o'clock at night. I don't want to go outside. <laughs> I'm still got you. I'm like, oh, man. That used to, I your forgot. mom used to call me off. She might call me all the time. Darren said he wasn't going. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh I, used to be scared. I used to be scared of everything, bro. Remember, really happens. Do you remember when uh, we went to that uh, movies with Elijah's parents and we went to go see National Treasure and I was too yeah, scared to go and you picked yeah, me up? Yeah, yeah. I, I was so that. scared of National Treasure. I didn't know what it was, bro. I ain't never been to a movie theater before yeah, and by then, myself. Then, then when the lights get dim and this stuff, I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. Yeah, I was scared of the dark, but I didn't like all that stuff. I said, here we go. Man. But, hey, man, you know, you live and you learn. You grow from that stuff. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's part. It's but part of life. I got better, though. I got better. But now... We're going to the fun part of the po- fun part of the episode. Oh my gosh! I is- have a quiz for you. It's called "Are You Smarter Than Your Son?" That's that's very simple. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. Libby, Libby is in the background. So everybody, give a round of applause for Libby. She has all of the questions that she's going to ask us. So how it's going to go is she's going to ask you a question. If you get it wrong, you get it wrong. If you get it right, you get a point. Whoever gets the three points wins, and you can't steal. All right. I heard the last part say you can't steal. So you can't. You can't steal. So say if you get it wrong, I can't take the answer. All right. So the first one ask is, me a question. Yep. I can answer it. Yep. You can answer it. Say hello, Libby. Hello. There you go. Why you still sound like you twelve years old? You. <laughs> I know Libby is not twelve. She's going to turn nineteen years old. Even though she does sound like this. Nineteen <laughs> years old. Oh my. Goodness. Yeah, man. You're getting old, brother. Jeez. Oh, I'm almost twenty five. Libby's nineteen. Yeah. You about to be twenty five? Why are you so surprised? <laughs> like you guys don't really look old. You you still look like, which is a great thing because yeah. never rush to get old. Oh, of course I mean, not. I'm you not. Should never. I always tell people you gotta enjoy your your your, your youth. Your youth. You got to enjoy it because when life is serious and we all gotta go through the serious moments. And if you get everything out of your youth for life, when you get to that moment, then you you ain't gotta look back and say what it could have should. Exactly. So you say that you did everything you had to do when you was young. You had a great time about it, and then you could be able to deal with the stuff going on. Right exactly. Now. Wise yeah. words yes, from the old a man. A wise man. Damn, I'm an old man. Yeah, <laughs> old man. So you ready? You get to yes, go first. Yes. You're the guest. All right. Well, what we got here? Come All on, right, Libby. Come ask on, Libby. the question. Go. Okay. The first question is, how many feet are in 75 yards? <laughs> oh, shoot. You're done. <laughs> how many feet in 75 yards? Mm-hmm. Uh, six. <laughs> Wrong. What? <laughs> six? six feet and 75, six, 75 yards. The, Damn. Uh, <laughs> a yard is bigger than a foot. <laughs> what foot? Like, there's, foot? there's three wait, feet. Wait. There's three feet there's in one three yard. Feet in one yard. So you got to do 75 times. 75 feet. times. Oh, that's 21. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't know that one. Go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, time out, time out. And y'all gonna give me these arithmetic stuff. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't good in math, nor I was good in English. <laughs> but I'm not mad. I listen, I take a, I take a C to my grade, boy. I went to A and B, boy. I, boy, I love them C's, boy. C's and D's. <laughs> what was the answer, Libby? 225 feet. 225 feet in 75 yards. In 75 yards. Uh, that was a hard I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna get that one. That was a hard question. Yeah, Dang, you right off the box. Oh my gosh. Hey, man. That's Dang. Some bull. All right, my turn, Libby. <laughs> okay. What is the hardest material? Hardest material? Oh my gosh. This is so the good. hardest material in the world? Wait. What is that thing called that they use to make bombs? Uranium. Uranium? Nope. What is it? Diamond. Dang! I said uranium. You said uranium. <laughs> what the hell is <laughs> he said uranium. You said uh, diamond? Oh, this is bad. This is some hard diamond questions. Diamond is the hardest thing? I mean, I guess it's hard to break. No you can't wonder, really no break a diamond. No wonder females want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to break up with that. <laughs> it's hard to break up with a diamond. <laughs> no oh, yeah, you gave me a diamond ring. I want it back. No, you ain't getting it back. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Libby. Okay. Who invested the light bulb? Oh, that's easy. That's Thomas Edison. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, that's one point. I thought it was Albert Einstein. I was going to say, I would have said Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Well, Albert Einstein wasn't part of the group, if I'm correct. That was the one who made the bomb. Or he helped make the bomb. He helped make the bomb. I didn't know he was an escaped Jew. 
Like he was a Jew from Germany or whatever. And oh, he was escaped. he? Yeah. I thought his family was. No, I think he was Jewish. Or his him and his family was Jewish and they escaped they Europe. Escaped. I thought his family to... escaped to Europe. But I don't think he did. Was he a kid? I don't know. I think or maybe probably his family was. did. That's what they said in Oppenheimer. Probably was. But Oh, it's was probably was. Yeah. Oh yeah, I probably you saw that movie? I gotta watch that movie. That was a long movie though. I think you probably like that movie. I like more. I like that stuff. Oh. That's a true story. Yeah. Go ahead, Libby. Which generally US troops during the Vietnamese War? Say that one more time. <laughs> that which general lead U.S. troops during the Vietnam War? Vietnam War. The Vietnam mm-hmm. War. What? <laughs> which general <laughs> troop? Which general was at the troops during oh, the wait. Vietnam War? I don't know that one, but whoever general, did, whoever <laughs> did, boy, they, she should get fired because U.S. got their ass whipped. I know that's crazy. They just let them. They I just mean, get them out the they, dark. They went into another country with more people. And they sat there and said, you know, why? This is the jungle, bro. They don't know what's in there. Yeah, but you know what happened, right? Because in Vietnam, it's a, cause when, when, you know, because they wanted territory. It's all about territory. War, war is money and territory. Yeah. But the thing was is that the Vietnam, uh, was it northern Vietnam, southern Vietnam, whatever, Vietnam, America killed more Vietnam people than American people had died. Yeah. But the thing is, is that they were willing to keep on fighting. Oh, like they didn't care. They didn't care. Yeah. But the people over here are sitting there saying, well, we already had 200,000 people that died. They already got a million. Yeah. They don't, they're not going to stop. So you just like, right, I'm done. But they're going to shame you guys because, you know, you, more people die in America, the more people going to get upset. That's what happened. People started getting upset. Like, why are we over there? Why are we going over there fighting over there? You shouldn't be over there fighting. That's what they're going to do. That's what's going to happen now. Stuff. Don't play me. Well, but yeah. I'm going to go JFK. Jeff K is a <laughs> Jeff K is a damn president. But who, John F. Kennedy. I know that's the president, but like, how am I supposed to know who the general? Who's the general? General William Westmoreland. How the West, hell am I supposed I, to know I, that? I don't know that one. What? I don't know. But, All right, like bro. I said, he 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 messed up. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Libby. Okay. During World War Two. Oh my lord. On the day known as D Day. Oh God. What? At what location did Allied troops invade Europe? You know, I watched this movie. I, like I, that's what I'm saying. I, knew, I know this. Saving Pirate Ryan, and they just and they just it was over there this week because it marked a hundred. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, I seen that. You see them, them the, the guys like jump down or whatever. Yeah, there was only ten left. They they, they didn't need hundreds and stuff. Yeah, they I, were I like see, eighteen. Did you see the guy? I think he was like a uh, like a parachuter. He parachuted down. He was ninety seven yeah. years old. Yeah, and, and and most of them they were doctors and priests. Oh, so they weren't really like soldiers. No, they were so they didn't get off that damn boat. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> they they said, probably, they I, said, <laughs> May the Lord be with you and push their ass out. <laughs> Shot. No, no, that's a sad moment, Bob. Just saying. What's the island? I don't know. The, I forgot. I the think island. I know this one too. That's crazy. You give me the hard ones. I don't know the island. What is that island? Oh my god. And them jokers was like target practice. I know. That was so dumb. This is Who's they, they were that? all kids. Just a minute, and they were saying the kids were like, they were. Shitting on themselves and there because they didn't want to get off the boat. I want to get off the boat. It was, and they said, you know, they, the black troops went first. Yeah, you know that, right? I know. Hey, That's you, messed up. Hey, you know how it is, bro. There was brother, a if I was bro, if I was black, I would jump right behind, right in the water. And stayed in the water, but you know that's that's the worst. The people died; they was drowning because they got the yeah, same eighty pound packs, on, packs their on their back. That's right, you're right. And they bullets hitting them. That's true. They were drowning. They couldn't even drink. They, couldn't, they swim. couldn't even swim. That's crazy. They just let them. They didn't even do no swimming test. I mean, they had to take the island because that was the most important thing in the war. Because they didn't do that, Germany would have. Oh man, that that was tough. Yeah. What's the name? What's the name of it? I don't know that. But. France. It's in France, right? Ha mm-hmm. <laughs> ha. It's, it's France. Yeah, it was Beaches in France. Beaches of. Normandy. France. Oh, Normandy! I knew it was an end to it. Normandy. Uh, I got. I got. Can you give me something, girl? Okay. Like dang, yeah, like Normandy. That's what it was called. I knew that's it was in France, though. I don't know. I knew it was in France. So uh, is that? I wonder if that is that beach like a, a national monument? Yeah, it is. So can you even go on that beach? I wouldn't want to go there. I, I, I wouldn't go there. There's a lot of bodies on that. I know. I wouldn't. Uh, maybe yeah, like, you think they close that yeah, off to the people? Know how many, they had. I mean, you know how many bodies died that day? You gotta be like, a, like what? Tens of thousands? It says seven, eight. No, maybe more. Like 10, 10K? It could be. I think around 10 And that's in one day. One day. Yeah. yeah, one day. I mean, just, oh my God. Yeah, no. Right Who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, crap. Pa- oh, I know this one. Picasso. No. It's no. Van Gogh. Michelangelo. 
No, it's Leonardo Di, 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 Da Vinci. Di. Dang it. I thought she was going to say Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That joke is bad. Leonardo could be a famous I was going to say Leonardo DiCaprio. I said, Da Vinci? What did I say? Paca- Dang, you Picasso. You Picasso. Dang, who the hell is Picasso? You know Picasso? He can, he's, he's an a artist. P- Piscasio or something? No, no, that's pistachio. <laughs> that thing's a pistachio. Go ahead, Libby. Right, it's my turn now. Yeah, it's your turn. Well, I got one point. You got one point. Damn, right. it's bad. Who was president of the United States before George D. Bush or George W. Bush? Who was before George W. Bush? Mm-hmm. Um, his son, right? Junior? Like, so can you say the name? Oh, yeah, George W. Bush. No. <laughs> what? What's his name? George, right? No, it's Bill, Bill Clinton. I was going to say it's Bill Clinton. Oh. <laughs> I knew. I, I know W was the first one. George Bush was the second that's one. That's right, Bill. Oh, right. He, that's right, Bill. Bill did two terms. Yep. All right. Next one, Libby. Let's, I need to get on the board, but I'm selling so bad. <laughs> what is the capital of New York? Albany. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, where you find these questions from? This this is a fifth grade questions that fifth graders are supposed to answer. What fifth grade? Know? Yes. They got people fifth grade knowing this? Yes. You got to be joking. I'm dead serious. If I was in fifth grade, I wouldn't know this stuff. <laughs> Bro, they teaching them how to code nowadays. You know that, right? For what? In like elementary school, you're teaching how to code. So you Code can, what? Like code computers. In elementary? Yeah, it's a class now. So, like, you remember we had computers, now they're teaching you how to code, so there's more IT people in the world. Oh, my God. I mean, you need more IT people. Go ahead, Liv. You ain't lying. What is the body of water between Florida and Texas called? You're not going to get this one. Oh, wait a minute. Body of water for Texas. Uh, <laughs> uh, Florida and Texas? The body of water before Florida and Texas? Uh, Texas and Florida. <laughs> he said it backwards. Body of water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> <laughs> Atlantic Ocean, I don't know. What no, it? it's, it's the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> oh, right. Damn. Atlantic, oh, I saw all the city people, they only know the oh. Atlantic Ocean, bro. The <laughs> you Gulf think, of Mexico? Yes. I'm trying to figure out how it could be Mexico and it's not near Mexico. It's right next to Mexico. I mean, if you technically count it, it's like... Like, cause you know Mexico curves down like yeah, this, right. so it's like it's like a big gulf. So well, it's technically yeah, Mexico. Yeah, I so. Well, I guess Mexico probably claimed it. Yeah, probably right. Go ahead, Libby. So. One one. I'm coming wow. back. I'm coming back. How many zeros are in the numeral for one million? <laughs> Wait, oh, I know that. That is that's six. Yep. Woo! <laughs> I'm about to say four. That's a thousand. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. One thousand, one, two, one hundred. Oh wait, no, that's ten thousand. How you get ten thousand? I said, <laughs> you said four, four zeros. Well, how many is in a million again? Six. That's why we ain't got it. That's why we ain't got it. That's why we ain't got it. I can't track a couple of zeros. <laughs> well, we got a million dollars. Oh man. my gosh! Go ahead, baby. How many sides does a hexagon have? Oh, that's eight. No, six. That's an octagon. <laughs> what? An octagon has eight. What's the other one? Hexagon. I was going to say five. That's a heptagon, right? Or hectagon, something like that. Which is, you know what? That's kind of dumb. What is the point of these shapes? I ain't never seen them shapes after me, that. Me either. That, they just, they, I'll tell you, they just give you this stuff so they can <laughs> make sure you they trick you. They don't want to teach you. They want to, they, teachers want to feel smart to give you stuff and say, oh, you don't know it. Eh, check. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're supposed to teach you so you can learn. But there's some teachers out there who just want to sit there and make you feel like a dumb. Exactly. And stuff. That's crazy. Like, raise your hand, you don't know the answer. <laughs> Darren, you ain't raise your hand. Why? Because I ain't know the answer. Ah, come up on the board and, and let me let me teach you how you do it. Oh, you're going to put me out there now, right? Yeah, you, you know I don't know how to do it. <laughs> stuff. Like A equals MC What was it? A, a equals MC square Yeah, no, no It's A was it? Yeah, A What is that? Wait, what are you talking about? The Pythagorean theorem? No, the algebra A, a plus B <laughs> equals C A squared plus B squared equals C squared Right This is So what's the what's the answer for C? So that's A and B God damn <laughs> I'm like that I remember she said that in class with me. She said Darren, what's the answer to, what's, the, what's C when it's A plus B? 
equals C. I was like, I so the answer is C? No, what? I was like, no, what? I was like, well, ask A. <laughs> I said A and B. She always start laughing. She thought I was, thought I was being a clown. She called your granddad. Like, <laughs> trouble. Oh my but that's god. Long, that's long story. All right. Rest. Bye, Terry Libby. Okay, hold on. Oh, are you still looking for questions? Yeah. I hope you ain't made the Oh my god. Man, these five fifth graders? That's what I'm saying. That's hard. That's some hard questions. I don't like that. I mean, that is the definition of when you see a little kid, a fifth grader, you sitting there saying, you're really, you really a smart ass. Yeah. You Remember know. Braylon used to make message all the oh, time. Oh man, we used to see Braylon was the youngest one at the time. He was like, what, he did that joke. Yeah, I, I, I would say, you know what? I want to, I want to kick you in your damn back. Remember, he was like, because he did, he he just learned how to do the alphabet. He, and my dad was like, all right, do the alphabet backwards, and he yeah. did it on the spot. And my dad was like, damn, you little, <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed. You, know, you, got, you, you little, little twerp. Tw- just want attention. <laughs> I was like, what you oh, I got told you better stop being because you go in class. Yeah. Especially in, well, you know, maybe out here, but in Jersey City, you you act like that, and some of them kids get upset. You know, you don't. Did. You could be smart, but don't make them look like they they're idiots. Dumb. Yeah, 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 of course not. Like, oh, you didn't know that answer. Well, I know a teacher. Like, right after school, you go boop right in the head. <laughs> so I punch you right in the damn head. <laughs> you ready? Go mm-hmm. ahead. Who is the author of the 1960 novel about social and racial inequality to kill a mockingbird? Libby, I was not born in 1960. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even born in 1960. I, saw, I, I read the book. To Kill I a saw, Mockingbird. Wait. Yeah, it's, it's by one of them. Edgar Allan Poe. No. Edgar Allan Poe is a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Edgar ain't even black. Is it really? Who is it? It's Harper Lee. Oh, that's right. Harper Lee. It's not Edgar Allan Poe. Never heard of <laughs> I'm about to say what you did. But I, I read the book. It was a long time ago. It's about, it's about race shoes, so you know. What the shoes. heck? I would thought it was about, Edgar yeah. Allan Poe. Dang. Edgar Allan Poe. No, he, he he wrote something about like a bird. I forgot what it was called. It wasn't Killer Mockingbird. It was something. Mocking. I think it was the Mockingjay. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the Hunger Games. That's the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> Was a gift to the U.S. from where? France. Dang yes. It. Yes. All right. I got that. I, I need one more, right? <laughs> I need one more too. It's two, two. Oh, oh my god. We good. It's bad. Oh my gosh. I'm stressed. Wait, but how you get two? Libby, what's my score? I got two. It's right? two and one, right? I think so. Yeah. Who got one? I got two. No, it's two and two. It's two oh, and two. two and two. Oh, yeah. damn. So he get this one. He wins. I let you. I let you have a rebuttal. So oh, like it's, you it's have a chance questions. to win. Oh, you mean chance? To, oh, okay. So if you right. get, it, then we keep going. All right. Like a one by two right, type one of by thing. Two. Okay. Yeah, I got you. All right, go ahead, Libby. Mm, okay. I don't like how you smile like that. <laughs> I don't like it either because she's laughing and stuff. I think she's giving us hard questions. You, you ain't lying. <laughs> Which of the following fraction is equivalent to oh, one third? Oh no, it's easy. Nine twenty, nine twenty-seven, ten forty, or three one. Three one. 927. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's where the Asian side kicks in. But the, <laughs> you ain't Asian. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Oh, my I, That's what I know how to do. I got the math listen, in me. Listen, you know, black people are good at math. Yeah. You know, that's why, you know. <laughs> He's trying to justify. I thought that's it. You're good at math. That's why they say, you know, you know they be doing them little Calculated street stuff. Yeah, I want ten percent. <laughs> I want ten. I know, right off the top of the head, they know what that ten percent. <laughs> well, it's, it's street math. <laughs> yeah, it's street All right, math. Let me give that one more, just in case, just so he got one last chance. Okay, who was the sixteenth president of the United States? Oh, pack him up. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, I know this one. Um, uh, my man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo. Wow. I knew that one. I knew it was right, I was me, trying to get I, I was trying to get good old Abe. Wow. Yeah. I thought Abe was fourteen. Nah, he was sixteen, dude. Dang. The fourteen one was um You don't know the fourteen. Know the 14. I'm like, what are you talking about? You don't know the fourteen. 
Oh my gosh. What was the fourteenth? The tenth was the Ulysses Grant. I used to know this stuff when I was in school. Weren't you a history guy? Yeah, I like I like looking at stuff in the past and stuff. Like he was a real. I remember like, cause I didn't know I couldn't do math well, could do English very well. So I said, well, let me find something. So something good. <laughs> something. So I right, you know history is all about past. So you know it's just remembering stuff. Yeah, you just gotta remember the past and stuff. <laughs> you ready, Lib? Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. What do you call sciences who study rocks? Oh, geologists. Yep. Woo! I thought it was archaeologists. <laughs> what? No, those are people that study bones. Those are the people that dig up fossils and stuff. Oh, I thought it was archaeologists. That's, <laughs> that's messed up. All right, go ahead. You got one last chance again, bro. All right. Do or die on you, bro. In the sentence, Sally is a very good person. Mm. What part of speech is the word fairy? Sally is a very, <laughs> what? Very good person? Mm-hmm. Ever. Yep. Ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. See, I got to end this question. Look at that. Boy, my, my third grade teacher, Miss Sweeney, would be proud of me. <laughs> wow. Boy, look at that one, buddy. He's getting saved. I thought yeah, it was an adjective. Gosh. Adverb. I don't know. Adverb. I, to this day, I don't know what, what's the difference between adverb. I think regular. adverb is, describes Something? verb and adjective describes noun. Oh, that's why I that think that's makes a lot of sense. Adverb describes a verb, adjective describes. I never noun. got that. Wow, that's, like, that's kind of crazy. That's, that's crazy, it. Libby. <laughs> Go ahead. You have another one. <laughs> Go ahead. Find another one. I, mean, I, I sucked at English. I didn't like. I, it. Listen, I listen. You can't give me and make a sentence. Did I tell you? I remember I was in the the, the special. That was in no. It wasn't a special, was class. A special class. It was like a. It was called AAP. Cause I, I, yeah, I, what was that? Cause I got bad grades in um. I didn't do well in the but NJS. You, yeah, but you, yeah, but that's just a test. Yeah, I know. You didn't but have like, bad grades. I didn't like being in that class. They kept telling me to read, and they always gave me candy. Like I'm a freaking, <laughs> like that's <laughs> crazy. That. Yes, I did. Was, yo, it was me and Fritz in that class. They used to be like, they used to be like, Darius, would you like to read the first two pages? I was like, okay, oh, I'll man. read the two pages. She's like, you can do it. I'm like, what you mean? I know I can Is read. You, what you, 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 you <laughs> candy. You, <laughs> <laughs> you should have told me that I would be, I would have been mad. I used to be mad. There ain't no goddamn circus animal. <laughs> kind of like, good job, Darius. Now here's some fruit snacks. Some fruit snacks. Yeah, exactly. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> like you're a damn animal. Oh my gosh. Oh. Go ahead, Libby. The interior angles of a triangle always sum to what degree? Who? Wait, ninety. No. No. 180? Yep. Dang it. I throw 182. I said it wasn't 90. 90 is a is a is a right right triangle. Right triangle. You said obtuse? Right. No, obtuse is smaller. No, that's a acute. Acute is smaller. That's acute a, is smaller, right. Obtuse right. is bigger. Yeah. Right. All right. And 90. All right, go ahead. If you get this right, you win, brother. All right. All right I'm gonna get this one. All right, let's see. <laughs> if you need one half cup of flour, what? you only have a one fourth measuring cup. How many times do you need to use it to get the right amount of flour? <laughs> <laughs> she is serious, right? <laughs> no, she dead serious. <laughs> what? <laughs> if I had one half, if you had a one, if you need one half cup of flour, but you only have a one fourth me- measuring cup, how many of those cups do you need to get to one half? <laughs> Two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> it's two times. Two, so it's two. Oh damn! If I said two, I was right. Yeah, you said two. Ah. <laughs> oh, with two. oh gosh! All All right. Right. I came close. All right, let me let's hear it. Huh? I, I need one more. We're still tied up. I can't believe you made it this far, bro. I can't believe it. Uh, well, listen, man. Hey, I'm impressed, bro. I, I, I'm impressed myself too. It must be sad. When was the last time you heard these questions? Uh, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I've never answered them. All right, okay. let me hear. It. How many compound words are in the following sentence? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Someone from the classroom was playing baseball in the cafeteria. Someone. Three. Yep. Woo! Oh. Let's go. Let's go. And he guessed that too. No, I counted. I was like, "What's a, I didn't know what a What's compound, a compound was. was a compound? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what a damn compound is. I think that's like someone. 
Like no, two words. Co- someone classroom. Yeah, with two words in oh, it. Oh, okay. That's what I thought too. All right. Do you want to you want a rebuttal? One last one? Okay, I'll give me a rebuttal. Please. All right, one last one. Because it was even it was rebuttal. Or so. One last one. Oh my gosh. I had no dang. That's a hard question. That's, I really don't know what that, compound words I were. I just love see that was one of them questions I was like, damn, you ain't raise your hand. Nope. <laughs> I was just going, mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> nope. Like I just it's just so there's some things that you just don't need to know. Exactly. My <laughs> compound gonna help you in the world in the real world. They ain't help me get no extra money. That's up. <laughs> I mean that's some stuff. Man. Oh my god. There's some wasted education. There is. There's a lot of stuff that I learned in school that ain't even helped me in life. I mean, <laughs> heck, they ain't helped me survive. You know, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I mean, I wish I had counselors back then when I was getting bullied. <laughs> compared to now. <laughs> Man, it, bully, I mean, everybody, everybody that I know, everybody had gotten some sort of bully. Yeah. And you just character. have to deal with it. It's like part of growing up. You just have to deal with it. You get through it. No one's, no one think you know, your life is anything like that. It's yeah. just like, like a peer pressure at its maximum. It builds character. And yeah, you just have to learn to deal with it. And it's more about social. But it was so stressful. But I wish I had had somebody to talk to. Because <laughs> your grandfather was like, if somebody messaged you, you better pick up a stick and beat the hell. That, that was always the thing. And I was, I was afraid to fight. I didn't want to get hit. <laughs> I could take a punch if you asked me to. I mean, I, I could fake like I was. That's why I'm glad I was getting tall, boy. And this one guy, he used to bully me for, from the fourth grade to the sixth grade. <laughs> and then the sixth grade, I got, grew two inches. He still was short. Yo, man, you remember I used to bully you? Now I want to beat him. I want to beat him up so bad. Like, oh, oh, beat you up. Look, look, look. Come here, you look. Ooh. <laughs> now he's a, you know, he's a, he's a priest. Now he's a pastor now. Wow. Look at how it went full circle. Man, if I see him, I might kick his little ass. <laughs> <laughs> I did two years of torture. I, ain't, well, I was so scared. But go ahead, Liv. Go ahead, Libby. One okay. last question. How many faces are there on a cube? I mean, what? How many faces are on a cube? What, what's a cube? A cube or what? Ice like, cube? No, like a, right, like like a, a cube. regular cube. cube. Oh, four. No, there's six. <laughs> <laughs> a cube? Yes, yes, a cube. Like an ice cube. Like like a Rubik's cube. Like a Rubik's cube or something like that. How many like faces? That. There's it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I always do is four. No, that's, that's sides of a square. Oh my! Rubik's cube is a square. Yeah, but it's a cube because it's three dimensional. (laughs) (laughs) The hell you? (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. You sure? Yes, it's six. Thank you, Libby. You can take the thing out. You know what? Everybody, give a round of applause for Libby. Yeah, great job, Libby. Well, you know the beautiful thing about this is that you know, you know, your kids, you hope they're smarter than you. (laughs) They learn. They see you. They see more than what you have seen. So, um, I'm not mad at losing this one. That's all right, man. You know, one day you you went further than me and your mom could ever imagine. I'm quite sure your sister's gonna do the same thing. Of course, you know. Yeah, he's talking about the master's degrees, but you know, since it's a Father's Day pod, I just wanted to tell you that you know there was one thing you told me when I was younger, and it stuck with me for ever since. And I think that what you told me is what helped me get to where I am. And I remember you told me when I was a kid, it was, you always said, hope is for the weak. And you should never hope, but you should know things because hope, hoping is not going to get you far in life. I remember you told me that because I used to say like, oh, I, I hope I get this. I hope oh, I do that. Yeah, I used to be like, yo, don't hope. Hope is for the weak. You always got to know things. And I always told myself, you know, <laughs> you know, when I remember when I didn't think I was going to play basketball again after college, I was like, you know, I know I'm going to play basketball. Mm-hmm. And then I ended up playing basketball. I always told myself, man, I don't know. I hope I get to do things like this. Nah, I never said that. I always said, I know. And I always just want to thank you for always just, you know, helping me get through oh, man, you did a lot of times that, you know, it was kind of hard, you know. I mean, the, the the thing about being a father is that you just try to, you know, you want to, the key thing is you want to try, you, you don't know it, okay? Yeah. I always tell people, people say, how do you do for, you don't know. What you want to try to do is, Build a safe environment. That's the most important thing. Make sure they're safe when they're growing up. And that's surrounded with positive people and family. Mm-hmm. And then give them all the support that you can give. You know, it's, it's always important that, you know, whatever is involved in their lives, even the smallest thing, that you be there so you know you can show support. Mm-hmm. And everything else is just the number one thing is that we 
with young people, they see more than anything else. You mm. don't understand they see. So it was important to me that, you know, that you see the relationship between me and your mom. Mm -hmm. It's important that you see me in a relationship around other people. So, you know, there, you know, about me teaching you and now you can see it, then you can apply it. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's all about. And then the, the rest is just, you know, you know, just make sure, you know, hope that, you know, like you said, hope. Yeah. Hope is a beautiful thing, but yeah. you have to apply. Yeah, of and course. Stuff. So, you know, you always need, you need hope and stuff, but you also have to apply it and you just hope everything worked out. So, so far, so good. So, you're, you're, you're good. No, the good thing about me. Yeah. The good thing that I like when people talk about you and Isabel is not me seeing it, but when other people come up to me and say, oh, man, I, I know your son Darius. He does this. He's a good, you know, he's been, he's a smart guy. That makes me proud more than anything. You yeah. know, you know, getting the education and you graduating and stuff, you know, that's, you know, we, you know, we push you to do that. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is that you guys go out and be good people. Yeah. And that's more, that goes more than anything because that's a reflection of me and your mom. And your mom did a great job mm -hmm. of raising you guys, especially because she, she put a lot of effort into it. I was just making sure everything around you guys to be safe and y'all could be able to excel in it. So. Mm -hmm. You know, so to all the fathers out there, just try to keep plugging at it. You know, you know, enjoy your kids. They grow and stuff. And if you have daughters and stuff like that, may the force be with you. Of course. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> <'Cause I'm laughs> but I have to say, I have a beautiful daughter, Olivia. I cannot even imagine, you know, she's she's a, she's one of a kind. And she's, a you know, I, like I asked her today, I said, Olivia, you ever had a bad day? She said, no. I don't really believe she never had a bad day. <laughs> she, 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 she never had a bad day. Like, nope. Dad, where we go? We go. She never had a bad day, and that's 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 a testament to you know her, but most a testament to the people around her. And the, we always said, me and mom, you, me and your mom, and you know, always said, it's particularly with you, you always love since you were small. You always like family. I don't know what it is about family. Mm -hmm. You always like the, you wanted the family around. You always. When we have parties and stuff, when we go places and anything, you know, you always excel with your family. And now to see your cousins looking at you and everything and stuff, it's almost like the next thing. Because like I spoke to your uncles, we always talk. It's not about us anymore. It's about you guys. Mm -hmm. it's about placing you guys so you guys could take it further. So, you know, when I talk about your uncle Ronnie and uncle Kevin and stuff, we always talk about our kids. So you guys can go further than what we did because that's what your grandfather wanted for us. Mm -hmm. He couldn't, he couldn't. He did as much as he can for us at the time we were at so we can go further. So when we have kids, you can go further. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what it's all about. So when you guys have kids in this new future thing, you guys could take it to a different level and we all could sit back and enjoy it. Yeah. So, that's the beauty of life. That's man. the beauty. You know, thank you again for coming to the podcast. That's man. it? Yep. Oh man. Is it? You know what? I, I I'm really proud of you with this podcast and stuff. I will be honest with you, I know what what podcast was. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I I think of pod and a cast. I'm like, what the hell? Of, I was a pod, was a cast. I see everybody got podcast. It's a good way of people to express themselves and yeah. you be able to be creative and get your opinions out without other people controlling it. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you have other media outlet controlling what you say. So you say, then mm -hmm. people believe it. So now it's a good thing that people and you and your mom is always telling me, you know, Darren, you gotta look at your your son podcast. And I I look at it. I always look at it. you know you know is 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 is. I never knew you had personality like that. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, I never knew you had a personality. I mean, you come across, and I, and and again, I, I'm, you know, this is something that you wanted to do. We always want to support and stuff, but you know, there's more. Yeah, and you know, you 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 have something there, and I can see it. I can see it in your friends and stuff like that. But most important, I can see it. You know, the casino you know, tell them. You know, I hate seeing myself play. Yeah, and then when I watch you. I feel like me. I can't. I care. I say, man, I don't like watching that. I just listen. I say, I can't watch because I hate looking at myself. It'd be like that, yeah. And I said, oh man. And then I hear you, and I was like, man, he's, he's and everybody that came across that saw your podcast, even people that say, man, that's your son, man. I go in the gym, and some guy comes and say, yo, is that your you there? That's your just yeah. He said, man, he has a great podcast. I'm like, <laughs> 
I know people. He, really? He thought I was doing some BS. <laughs> he did, yeah, I thought he, he was doing some bullshit. He came, he came in. He's like, "Why are all these lights doing it?" Yeah, I was, I was like, "What the?" Heck? But no, but you know, it's 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 something good and stuff. Yeah. I know, I know, you put a lot of work into it, and you've done it all by yourself. Yeah. And you know, with with my money and everything, <laughs> and all the time and stuff like that. And I know there's something bigger out there for you. Yeah. You cannot waste all the energy and what that you put into what you got. Mm-hmm. They will never take it for granted because there's people out there, Darius, and you know, with the folks, your sister, that watch you and love to be doing what you're doing mm-hmm. and be in a better place you do. Like your know, your cousin Kayla said, "Boy, I would love to be like Darius." <laughs> <laughs> like he said, said Darius got the life. I was like, "Why you say that?" He said, "Man, Darius got the life." <laughs> and stuff like that. But yeah. that just tells me that there's always someone's watching you, mm-hmm. no matter what. There's always someone watching you. I always remember that when I was in in college and stuff when a kid came up to me that was in a sophomore while I was in high school and he used to watch me and he would admire me I was like yo we're in the same school what do you mind? I didn't know what that was all about but he said he was watching me so I always remember there was always someone watching me so mm-hmm. it's, this is this these lights are blind the crap out of me <laughs> yeah you try not to look at the lights man I know man but this, but this is some this, this is cool right? I mean, but, how the heck time won't fit in this damn chair <laughs> That gotta be crazy, man. That, that, he gotta be falling backwards like his head. Nah, he he fits on the chair pretty nice, bro. Well, he sloped down. Uh, maybe not really. He kind of sits up more. Like he's he up like this. Yeah, like he sits up like this, like normally like this. Oh, you gotta be joking. I'm saying. But thank you again, man. You know, oh, I always appreciate. Play. You. Hey, listen, I I didn't think I was gonna be on this thing. Hey, I, I'm on it. And I had my, my beautiful daughter asking me questions, which got me nervous as well. You better stop that damn gyrator in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it was a beautiful thing. Yes, sir. So thank you all again for tuning into the special episode of No Rest Podcast. Shout out to all the fathers out there. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I said, tell your dad happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, man. Yes. And one last thing before we end off. I have a gift. I don't have it with me. But shout out to our sponsors at Seat Geek. I was able to give my dad, my mom, and my sister... Tickets to the New York Liberty game for use with SeatGeek. So that is your Father's Day gift. Use code no regulars, capital N O R E G U L A R S, all capitals, if you want twenty dollars off your first order. Let's go! <laughs> Over fifty dollars. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So you can watch the New York Liberty play. Where really? Yeah, I got you. Oh shoot. How you get that? With SeatGeek. Who the hell is a SeatGeek? Who That's the hell is a Seat Geek? That's the app that you uh, order stuff. Yo, this ain't no fake tickets, man. Because nah, I, I, no. if I get some tickets, I'm sitting there. Somebody say, that's my chair. <laughs> I'm going to be mad, Dad. What kind of seat geek? What the hell is seat geek? It's just like Ticketmaster. They real? Yeah, they real. Just say thank you to seat geek. Oh, thank you, seat geek. You, you, you. <laughs> One love, man. You know thank what I'm you. saying? What's Any up? last words before we end the podcast? Nah, this is a beautiful thing. Um, You know what I expect from You know what your mom expects from you yep. and stuff. So you got, you know, you... You came far, but you got a long, long way to go. Of and course. The most important thing, like I always tell you, since you were young, no matter what happens between me and your mom, you make sure you take care of your younger sister. Of course. That's the most important thing. Yes, sir. I'm we different. They reg- no regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.